prison was able to steal $11 million by impersonating billionaires and it actually worked. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new. So this is a reaction video on an inmate that steals $11 million. And this is just like so interesting to me cause I'm like, how you locked up and you out here conning millions and possibly billionaires out of money? I got questions. But anyways, let's go and get into it. A man in prison was able to steal $11 million by impersonating billionaires and it actually worked while oh. he was at a maximum security prison in the state of Georgia. You won't believe this. Put up his picture for mass here. According to the allegation, authorities believe Yo. that man on the left, Arthur Lee Cofield Jr. impersonated the man on the right, Sidney Kimmel, who puts a lot of money behind major movies and also major nonprofits. Let me give you the background to what happened. Authorities say some $11 million was somehow swindled from various financial institutions by someone pretending to be a billionaire. Let the man have his money. Of billionaires and using cell phones to facilitate the schemes from prison. Once again, a maximum security prison. Federal prosecutors have identified Arthur Lee Cofield Jr. as the person who impersonated Sidney Kimmel, a California billionaire, while being locked up in the Georgia Department of Corrections Special Management Unit. Yes, he was in a maximum security prison who had a special management unit overseeing him. But somehow he was still able to pull off what has been called the greatest heist of any I mean, person we know it was an inside job. Okay, he was serving 14 years for armed robbery, according to Fox News. Cofield was able to get cell phones mm. into the prison. That is a form of contraband. It is That's not against enough. the rules. He utilized this contraband to execute his deals. One deal he allegedly arranged allowed $11 million to be wired from Kimmel's Charles Schwab account to an Idaho mm. company to purchase 6,106 American Eagle one-ounce gold coins. Then he did something else. The prosecution also believes he charged a private plane to transport the coins from the gym state into Atlanta, and then allegedly used the proceed the proceeds to buy <coughs> four point four million dollar house mm. in Buckhead, Georgia, very affluent community. <coughs> Originally, the house was not for sale, but the owner Michael Zambilas agreed to sell the house to Cofield, but changed his mind with a five hundred thousand dollar cash deposit. So the case. The case was first announced by the Justice Department, okay? This was back in December of 2020. And for two years, they've been building their case, Atlanta Journal-Constitution reveals. The DOJ has indicted Cofield and two others accused of being associates on the outside. Eldridge Bennett, 65, and his daughter, Alaya Bennett, 27, of conspiracy to commit bank fraud and money laundering. The three have all pleaded not guilty. Authorities also suggest there may be, there may have been others who have fallen victim to this criminal enterprise. Many commentators on Lipstick Alley believe that the dramatics of Cofield's escape escapades could be great on the big screen. This is made for movie stuff. One person said, and I quote, this will make a good movie. In disbelief, another person wrote a similar thought. What in the American greed kind of story is this? How in the hell is this man able to commit such brazen and multifaceted scams? He obviously has inside people and help from those inside with him. COs, meaning correction officers included. Just think, what kind of things could he do if he applied his obvious smarts to doing right? This could be a movie. 
One person simply this said, This is going to wow, be a movie. Impressive. Who is Kimmel? Kimmel is the chairman and the CEO of the Sydney Kimmel Entertainment Company and is one of the producing forces for Hollywood films like Crazy Rich Asians, Hail of High Water, and Moneyball. The 94-year-old founder of Jones, New York, is worth about $1.5 billion after Ooh. selling the company for $2.2 billion. Ooh. Matthew Ooh. Kamins, who is Kimmel's advisor, gave a statement regarding the crime. The quote is, Mr. Kimmel was unaffected by whatever occurred, and we have no knowledge Perfect. of what occurred, either in terms of background or context. After the banks were made aware of the fraud, Kimmel was fully reimbursed by the banks. I'm, I'm wow. sure he was. Okay, where do I start? So first of all, I'm, I'm quite sure he was. Uh, nobody should be stealing money that does not belong to them. That's called theft, and it's not right. And yet, majority of everybody do it. That somehow this individual inside the I mean, prison, managed by a special management unit, was able to pull off this kind of heist, this kind of theft, what is being called today as the largest financial theft in the history of America from someone incarcerated. How did he get all of these cell phones inside of this one building where he was under a special management protocol? I got questions. I got and hella you know questions. The thing about these money management accounts, it's hard for you to get your own damn money out of your account. The kind of information they require you to verify, you have forgotten most of that stuff. Okay? How was he able That's to the God the protocols forgetting. of Charles Schwab and anybody else in order to get this money, access, access the money, and then transfer the money to other accounts? I mean, he locked up all he do, I mean, all he got is time. All right, got a lot of questions that is here. His Obviously, job. they have caught on to the scheme. Damn. Um, but they're saying Damn not guilty. Million. My dear brother, what are your thoughts here? Well, my first <coughs> thought when I was reading the story earlier was like, hey, why is the resemblance so uncanny? It looks like they used the same picture of the same person twice, <laughs> side by side. Now, if this was going to be a made movie, I want to elect O'Shea Jackson Jr. to play the starring role. I think O'Shea would be nice. He would dominate this uh, situation. He definitely would. I was wondering how Arthur Lee With his personality, Jr. he'll probably his throw his own shit in there, too. Strategically choose certain individuals, in this case a billionaire and an additional millionaire, in order to rob them. But with all this being said, I'm sure this isn't over. He has made it so far without being either caught or reprimanded enough to be able to stop. He's not done. This is going to continue. Yeah, I mean, they're saying there are more actual victims, so they're not able to conclude that this was the last of the scheme. We'll continue to follow the story. Fascinating number. Well, you guys, that was it for the video. I don't know. I just, like, got so many questions. And then I'm like, uh, who locked up in there that was helping him? Come on now. Y'all was helping him. And $11 million? Damn. I wonder, like, how long did it take him to rack all this up? And then he only had 14 years. So, I mean, like, he could have got out and, you know, lived the best life, his best life. Not only that, I'm sure he's still going to get out sometime. And I'm sure he didn't give all that damn money up. But anyways, you guys let me know what you think in the comments. And don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. And I appreciate the love. And if you share my video, thank you so much.